So how do the stories begin? Do children wake up one morning and think, I want to be a scientist. What sparks the researcher in us? Is it always curiosity? For instance, to better understand the way the human body works. Did you know that proteins are the workhorses of the cell responsible for the processes that make life possible? They are important for transport and communication and catalyze reactions. To improve healthcare with personal medical treatments, we need to unravel biological processes at the molecular level. Femi Ojambati, assistant professor in the soft matter cluster, is working on new ways to observe and understand single molecules. He wants to reveal their detailed structural and dynamic information as they operate. To achieve this, he focuses light on a single protein confined to a very small space. The light-molecule interaction will enable us to understand molecular processes that are essential for our everyday lives. That's uh, little Femi on the big screen. <laughs> so, I grew up in Nigeria, where my parents exposed me to all sorts of different activities. And these activities vary from music, different types of music, playing uh, musical instruments, singing, and um, even acting. I did drama, but I was also interested in literature. My favorite is Shakespeare, Merchant of Venice. So I really enjoy doing all these activities because I, I see them as a way of expressing myself and also tell, telling the world about how I feel and to pass a message to the world. But I found out that there is a missing thing that I still would like to know more to answer questions about the world, about how things work around me. And then uh, I went uh, to, the, to the secondary school where I was um, actually exposed to all sorts of different courses. But one, one, one course that I really enjoyed was uh, the physics class that I attended. And um, I remember that day, I went late to the class, but the teacher was explaining using some simple graphs and some equations to describe the motion of a car. I found out that this is actually what I'm missing, although I enjoyed all this acting and the music and so on, but I wanted to learn more about things in my environment, about how objects move and so on. So I got interested in physics and uh, I learned a lot and I was always very proud to tell my friends and my siblings about what I learned. I remember one day that we were uh, trying to pluck mango from a mango tree using a stone. And I said, you know, I can describe the uh, motion of this stone uh, using some few equations. <laughs> and it was uh, really, really very exciting for me. I was really very happy to share this new, uh, new knowledge I found. And then I went to the university. It is a technical university, uh, University of Technology. So we had to learn many technical skills. But in that university in Nigeria, they also exposed us to many different aspects. Um, like we had to take courses on philosophy and philosophy of science, about Nigerian law, economics, and, um, and, and many other courses, communication, teaching, and education. While I really enjoyed uh, the physics and the technical courses, but these other courses really exposed me that it is not just interesting enough to understand how uh, the physical principles of how things in our environment work, but we should also consider these problems on a broader scale. And then I did very well. After my graduation, I won a scholarship to go to University of Vienna in Germany where I studied uh, photonics. So it's, it's uh, a very uh, international environment, and I had friends from all over the world. And the uh, study there was very focused, you know, focused like the German way. <laughs> 
which I really enjoyed because it uh, uh, helped me to develop a very strong basis for my career. And, uh, and then I came to the University of Twente here for my PhD, and I did great uh, experiments in the lab. I had great colleagues, great supervisors. And, but one uh, striking thing that the UT offered for me then was this openness and that many international students are actually really welcome and we felt here to be really a nice place for us to, to be. And so I made a lot of friends from all over the world. I learned about their countries, about their culture, uh, but I also learned about what they are doing, what they are studying. And it was very interesting for me that uh, when they described their research project, I actually listened to them and I found I would uh, think about what I would contribute from my background. Is it some programming or is it just some general feedback? Uh, and I like this perspective because it exposed me to not only topics uh, that I was studying in my research, but I learned about uh, uh, geoinformatics, uh, about civil engineering, about computer science, and many of, of these other fields that I was not really encountering. So then I developed this attitude that a scientific problem is a scientific problem. You can uh, approach it from different angles, but you, we will all contribute from our basics or from our background in a very enriching way if we approach it from these different directions, and not just to look at it from one perspective. And this I really enjoyed a lot. And then I went to the University of Cambridge, where I was a postdoc. I did really great research in the lab, and it was all very, uh, very uh, great time for me. But the University of Cambridge, being a general university, they had uh, university, uh, they had faculties uh, of law, of history, of economics, and so on. So I made friends from all these faculties. I learned a lot from them. Um, I attended seminars with them, I had a lot of discussions about their research and so on. And this experience also made me to realize that actually it's not enough to be interested in understanding physical principles of what we have around us. It is not enough to uh, attack a scientific problem from different uh, backgrounds and different perspectives, but we have to consider all these from a broader context. So from the historical context, from the economical context, from the uh, law and the political context. And this I really enjoyed uh, a lot. And even there, I got uh, involved in uh, some protests, uh, which uh, I am quite proud of. Um, and now I'm back at the University of Twente here, where I am uh, setting up a research direction that is multidisciplinary, interdisciplinary, it is actually not that surprising because of my experiences and of my background that have already taught me that it is good to look at a scientific problem from different directions and from different perspectives. So, and, and now at the University of uh, Twente, we can also uh, tap into this, each, other, each and every one of us we have our own background, we have our own unique experiences. We can all combine them together and uh, use these uh, rich human resources to solve our societal problems. Thank you.